Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new adventure. Here is a Angora rabbit cone that I have purchased. I wish I bought more. Oh, I... Sometimes you think, why didn't you buy all of the pinks she had? But unfortunately, there is none. And this yarn is nowhere to be found. It is 100% Angora rabbit yarn made in France. Ballinger is the name of the brand. So I started a custom order for a small size and I hardly made it. I was just freaking out that I didn't have enough yarn, but it I did. So here is a video of me showing. I still have yarn, yeah, I'm knitting, knitting. So I was kind of uh, getting nervous about the sleeves. And as soon as I finished the sleeves, I started knitting the body, the length of the burl. But look how fluffy this looks. Isn't this fantastic? Oh my goodness. It's just lovely. It's super soft. Uh, as you know, uh, Angora Ballinger brands are worsted yarn. So uh, I just knitted with, it's 100% Angora Rabbit yarn. So I just knit it with one strand and it's super strong. So I didn't use any helpers uh, to add because of the yarn being worsted. And I do have a video I'm talking about this yarn and showing you how strong it is. Hear me knitting. Knit, knit, knit. I had to use different needle sizes just to uh, be careful not to use up all the yarn. Because it was 100 and uh, 114, yeah, I did count, 114 gram of yarn that I have used up for a small size v-neck crop, uh, three-quarter sleeves. Yeah. Hear me knitting. Look how fluffy this looks. Unfortunately, Ballinger is no longer making Angora Rabbit yarn and does the distributor in New York a star message me indicating she is no longer selling Angora Rabbit yarn very very disappointed but what can you do hear me showing you how it looks it looks so tiny doesn't it it's well it's magical Angora Rabbit yarn is magical you knit to fit like a glove and it just fits perfect it even fitted my sleeve which I have I'm a plus size I'm a big girl so uh, I just showed you how it looks when I put it on even it's a small size and it is super soft it is Angora Rabbit yarn is not itchy If you want to watch these videos with music, come and check my Instagram page. Angora, Angora underscore Bilera is my Instagram page. And ta-da, here we go. It's finished. V-neck, small size, crop, three-quarter sleeve, Angora rabbit, Bilera. Shrug. I'm trying to capture the how fluffy it is. Can you see the halo? It's really hard to tape it, take pictures. I have all these techniques, all these tutorials on my YouTube channel under top down. Even when you search and write down what you're looking for, that it will pop up. So I have close to 1,000 videos. Check it out if you want to knit something for yourself. And here is a clip me packing. It's going to MA USA. So hopefully she will receive it by Friday. I shipped it on Tuesday. Because I go to DYK, the American, I call them the American Post Office. They're very super fast. I had to insure it, of course. And I paid for insurance. 
and for signature requirement because this shrug is precious <laughs> it's one of a kind i don't want to get it have it get lost because of one one did happen to me i had to send the customer a different lacy bridal shrug but she loved it but yeah she told me that she lost it so no she didn't lose it the package arrived empty so i don't know you never know right it's between god and the customer it's a gut thing here it is putting in a canadian bag made in canada thank you very much for your order i really appreciate it and this is how my adventure goes on and here is a clip of me taking it to the YK, y, uh, DYK post office. I call it the American post office. She gave me a great deal. Yeah, I love them. The girls are so good. She even put it in their own pa pa uh, package so I can get a $2 discount. Isn't this fantastic? Love it, love it, love it. And here is the leftover yarn. I'm so happy because I did knit it longer than 14 inches for a small size I think it's about 16 inches and I did knit the sleeve longer than 14 inches for a three-quarter for a small size I believe it's again 16 or 17 inches long from the underarm so uh yeah I had plenty of yarn so uh the yarn was 114 I haven't measured this I don't know how much I have left so, and these are the other pinks that I have, but they're not enough. They're about 72, 79 grams. So I will be making something out of them. Probably probably a bridal shrug that, that a bride can wear because they're, they are lovely pinks. They're not Ballinger. They're different names that I purchased in the past years. Or maybe they're from my leftover. I can't remember. In the past, over a decade, two decades, maybe. Who knows? Here is Mac. Can you believe it? This is Mary Maxim used to buy from France. They would bring it to uh, to, um, to America. Yeah, I was just surprised. And here is the finished look again. I hope you liked this video. Just uh, just to show you, ta-da! It's finished. One of my finished items for the month of May, twenty twenty-three.